This conference will now be recorded. All right. So good evening, everyone. Uh, let's talk about some basics about SAP FICO today. So most of you from you are already trained or you know any of you are first time into SAP FICO. Anybody is already trained in this? Uh, hi, Ajay. Yeah, this is Shiva. I am first time actually, but I am into PM and PS module. Okay. Yeah. Anybody who's already trained on this batch uh, on this list? Uh, yes, sir. I'm uh, trying on that. Yes, sir. Vijay, oh. decide. Uh, I am also trained in SAP. Okay. I am also, yes, I am, I am also trained, sir, but not perfectly. All right. So, all right, fine. So since we have mixed people who are already trained and those who are attending for the first time SAP FICO, let's try to discuss certain points which will give you a clear clarity, clear understanding as to what we have to do in terms of SAP FICO training. Okay. So before we begin, I'm not going to talk about what is SAP, what you need to do to learn SAP and all. I'm not talking about qualification, the course content or any other parameters which are irrelevant for our practical SAP FICO learning in order to become a consultant. So in short, let's talk about certain practical points which are actually required for us to understand SAP FICO and to get into SAP FICO field. So I'll put certain points as prerequisites. Okay. Now, whatever the points I'm writing here are valid for both who are already trained, for those who are first time attending SAP FICO training and for those who are already working on SAP FICO at entry level. So when we talk about prerequisite for SAP FICO, first thing is your basic accounting. This is your first prerequisite. If we are not good at basic accounting, it is not suitable for us to undergo SAP FICO training. This is very clear. You should not have any doubt, any confusion when it comes to basic accounting. So there is no exception for anybody when it comes to basic accounting when I talk about basic accounting I mean debit I mean credit I mean accounting entries financial statement that's it nothing beyond this you must know what is debit what is credit basic accounting entries and financial statements this is what all you have to understand from basic accounting once you are good at basic accounting second point that is important for you to do is you must be a graduate or postgraduate this is the second point okay so either you have to be a graduate or a postgraduate this is the second point from which domain your graduate or for which domain your postgraduate is secondary. Either you are from commerce background, non-commerce background is not going to make any difference in the current market. And second one is your graduation or post-graduation is mandatory in terms of any domain. Third one, I'll put experience. Okay, this is most common question for a lot of people, those who wants to learn SAP FICO. Experience, there are two types of experience. One is your domain experience. When I talk about domain experience, I'm talking about accounting and 
finance related experience second one is your non finance related experience so your experience may be from finance background your experience may not be from finance background but as long as you have experience now these two experiences when we are talking about here these are non sap experiences non sap non sap related experience either domain related to finance or non finance related experience both of you can enter into sap but for which you'll have to show some experience in sap so this we normally call it as projected experience this is your projection okay when we talk about projected experience if you see the current market so you will get 80% openings for experienced consultants you will hardly find or 20% openings for freshers which means if you want to get into sap projecting yourself as an experienced candidate is mandatory okay so when you are talking about you are a projected experienced candidate so always remove the projection from your experience which means you are experienced candidates means you are experienced candidate in sap fico so your knowledge should talk your experience the way you are explaining should talk your experience not the resume not the number of years that you are projecting or keeping on your resume it is only the way you are talking in your interview or with any person who is related to sap clear now after experience next thing is your freshers okay when we talk about freshers there are two types of freshers here first one fresh pass outs when we talk about fresh pass out there are only two categories which are eligible for fresh pass outs first one is current year pass out and second one is last year pass out only these two categories are considered for freshers now if you are in current academic year 2023 if you want to get into the market as a fresher candidate either you have to be a 2023 passed out or you have to be a 2022 passed out if you are not fulfilling this 2023 pass out or 2022 pass out you are not going to be considered as a fresher so you must project or you must bring in some experience if this criteria is not fulfilled your resume will not be picked up you will not be able to get interview calls even if you get the call you will not be able to clear the interview okay so this is another point so freshers now many people will get a doubt that experienced fresher if you want to get into the market as experienced to fresher so these opportunities are also open but limited so if you want to get into the market as experienced fresher so you will have to go to startup companies you have to approach startup companies you should have sap certification or you should have recommendation in short references so if you want to get into the market as experienced to fresher the chances are very very less chances are very very less in short in short if you want to get into the sap 
the only open way is experienced candidate this is the only way which will allow you to enter the market this is the only option which will open the door for you to open your to start your career in sap so if you are thinking about getting to sap as a fresher or in any other means the opportunities are very very less when we talk about opportunities are very very less i'm talking only in terms of you clearing your interview so here there are two three things excluded one is proxy interview second one is back door third one is on job support okay so this is a trap this is also a trap this is also a trap make sure you are not falling under these three traps okay so point number 1 never believe anybody who says that they'll help you in proxy interview never believe anybody who says that they'll help you in getting a backdoor job never believe anybody who will tell that they will support you on your job in short on job support these three things should not be in your mind if these three things are there in your mind you will never get a sap job even if you get a sap job you will never become a successful consultant as long as you are behind these three points forget about becoming a consultant forget about making a career in consulting not possible as long as you are behind these three or these three points are there in your mind because these are straight forward trapping market trappings okay now after seeing all this we have seen basic accounting i hope everybody is clear with basic accounting what is debit what is credit basic accounting entries financial statements like trial balance pnl balance sheet agree everybody is at least having some basic understanding yes no yes sir yes, right sir. yes sir now everybody is graduate or post graduate yes sir yeah now everybody has some experience whether it is related to sap or non sap yes sir yes 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 sir right now any freshers here when we talk about freshers you have to be very clear with the fresher either current year pass out or last year pass out if you are talking about fresher interview or a fresher sap fico job today we mean either you are a passed out of 2023 or you are a passed out of 2022 if you are not fitting in 22 or 23 do not consider yourself as a fresher this is very clear got my point okay yes sir now any experienced fresher anybody who has experience but trying to get into market without showing any sap experience trying as fresher in sap all right so if any such candidates are there the only option is you have to start you have to consider the startup companies you should have sap certification and you should have good references only one of these three things can help you get into the sap otherwise not possible very very difficult and if above criteria is not fulfilled or if you are not able to crack the interviews with the above criteria the only option left in the market is this three okay these are open sources in the market because this is a trap this is cheating okay so if you are not getting any interview call if you are not getting selected in any of your interviews even if you got selected you are scared you are afraid that whether i can 
perform in my job whether i can complete my tasks on time or not most of the people will opt for this third option on job support do not do this okay so if you are under any of these three impression it is better you quit sap okay if anybody is under impression that i'll take help of proxy interview i'll get into backdoor job or i'll take on job support it is clearly recommended not to get into sap not to take sap training from anybody because this is not going to help you at all in any matter 100% this will not work 100% this will not work you have to be scared every day for lifetime okay if anybody is with this intention my recommendation my suggestion is not to get into sap not to continue further in sap not to waste further time on sap because 100% this will not work okay now having seen this having seen this point number 1 basic accounting you must be a graduate post graduate you must have some experience sap or non sap if you are a fresher you have to be either a current year pass out or a last year pass out and these three things should not be there in your mind at any given point of time erase this thing these three things from your mind if anybody has these points in your mind please delete it if with this points training is not recommended training is not needed okay now let's talk about sap training process okay when we talk about sap training process first thing that has to strike your mind is duration okay first thing that should strike your mind is duration what is the duration for learning sap fico so you can complete in 30 days you can complete in 45 days you can complete in 60 days you can complete in 90 days you can complete in 120 days you can even complete in 180 days okay now it depends what is your training requirement it depends on what is your training requirement if you are new to sap if you are new to sap or already trained on sap already working on sap drop out in sap trying to get into again so it depends which category you fall under this okay now to learn sap duration it takes minimum 3 to 4 months to complete training it takes minimum 3 to 4 months to complete a training if this is anywhere less than 3 to 4 months you are not learning complete sap fico okay so you have to be very clear what is your intention what is your requirement to learn sap is it to know and get some knowledge on sap or to gain knowledge to make a career in sap if you want to know about sap if you want to get some knowledge on sap you can opt 30 days training 40 days training 60 days training this you can opt if your intention is 
to know about SAP to get knowledge about SAP but if your intention is to get a job in SAP to make a career in SAP this 30 days 45 days 60 days is not going to work there is nothing that you will learn which will help you clear the interview which will help you understand the SAP business scenarios SAP business processes right if your intention is to get this it takes this duration it will take this duration if you want to gain knowledge to make a career in SAP so this is your minimum duration now why I'm telling this is the minimum duration there are certain points that you'll have to understand for anyone it will take one month to get familiar with the system when I say it takes one month to get familiar with the system so it does not mean or it is not suitable only for fresher only for experienced no matter which background you are coming from if you are starting your SAP FICO learning for the first time it will take minimum one month it will take minimum one month for you to get comfortable with the system which means during this first one month whatever you are doing you will not be clear okay so whatever you are learning in your first one month it is not clear it will give you with 100 question marks because you are doing blindly whatever you are seeing on the system while I am explaining or any other trainer is explaining okay so first one month it is not going to be understood you are not going to be clear so you have to start your SAP training duration from 31st day clear you will have to count your SAP learning from 31st day first one month you are only tuning your mind to get adjusted to get comfortable with the system okay it is not something that within a one month you have completed 30 percent of your SAP FICO content please do not be in that impression because that is practically not possible not only to you including for me it is not possible count your duration after one month first one month whatever you are learning is not going to help you it is only the basic foundation which will make you to feel comfortable on system now from 31st day which means from second month onwards you have to count your duration whether it is two months three months four months six months count it from second month because if you are not familiar with the system if you are not comfortable with the system it is of no use whatever you are being taught okay whatever the topic you are practicing if you are not understanding the concept it is not going to help you reason whatever the topic you are practicing you have to explain it back to the other person to clear your interview you have to have a discussion on this topic with your client with your user with your friend or anybody which means if you are able to do the configuration on the system you are able to bring the output from the system does not mean you are good at SAP FICO if you have the material if you have the document configuration screenshots anybody can do SAP FICO the only prerequisite to do such kind of SAP FICO is the basic computer knowledge if I know how to operate system if I have the documentation with me including the transaction code screenshot anybody can do it so if you're doing such kind of a practice do not be under impression that you have learned something because you have learned something for yourself wherein you will be able to do it on system but if you close your laptop if you have nothing on your hand no material no laptop no mobile phone no internet no Google check whether you are able to talk on a topic whatever you are talking let that be correct or wrong but if you are at least able to talk something you will become a consultant you will clear your interview 
no matter whether you are talking correctly or not if you have nothing on your hand if you have not dependent on anything but still you are able to put an effort to speak out to explain there your confidence will come into picture so that confidence is what is required in your interview for your interviewer he is only going to check how confident you are while explaining whether you are answering properly to my questions whether you are making me convinced with your proper business examples or not is going to be checked from your interview which means when you are learning your focus is not supposed to be on the configuration okay so if i am talking about configuration if you are good at this okay and if i am talking about business process if you are good at this now if i am good at configuration this may not help us clear the interview if you are good at configuration this is not going to help you to clear your interview but if you are good at business process this will definitely help you clear the interview your configuration is not going to help you clear the interview this is clear cut be very confident with this statement okay when i say your configuration is not going to clear your interview which means no interviewer is expecting you to explain the configuration steps am i clear no interviewer will expect you to tell them the configuration steps for any process except few now if you are good at business process this will definitely help you clear the interview because if you know the business process your business process is all about business requirement or a business case if you have a requirement if you have a case you will definitely think how i will do this business requirement or how i will implement this business case in sap from here your mind will automatically think about configuration but from configuration you can never get into business process these are reverse if you are focusing on configuration you will never be able to understand business process because that will lead to unwanted confusions but if you talk from the business process point of view your business process understanding will help you understand sap configuration very easily because there is something in your mind what you want to do from the system what you are expecting from the system until you get what is your expectation from the system you will have to keep fine tuning the configuration you have to change configuration think in different different ways so that is what is going to help you clearing your interview managing your project talking to your client talking to your user or talking to anybody so everything is again stops at business process okay anywhere if you are talking only the configuration you are representing a trained candidate okay the other person gets a clear indication clear impression on you that you are a trained candidate and do not give that impression to the other person especially when you are in interview if your interviewer comes to know that you are talking only the configuration that to the basic configuration when i say basic configuration it is only to execute the plain business scenario so from that business process you have to take out different different requirements you have to think from business point of view what exactly users will do what exactly a company organization will do with this process is this straight forward or not if this is a straight forward why everybody is telling sap is difficult 
why those who learnt SAP is not becoming SAP consultant. Right. So there are certain questions that we have to put to ourselves before we get into the market. Before you put your resume on the market, you have to see if you are able to convince yourself with your skill set, with your knowledge on SAP. If you are convinced, if you are confident enough, you can proceed further. Because all you need is that confidence. So that confidence will never come with your configuration. If you are good at config, you will never be confident. Because nobody talks about config. When nobody talks about config, there is no point of confidence. But everybody is behind your business process, your experiences, what kind of issues you have faced. So this comes only when you practically execute scenarios with real-time scenarios. When we talk about real-time scenario, you have to be very clear that this is a practical, valid business requirement. Okay, now. Uh, most of you have seen any job that you see on the market or if you Google open any job portal, what is the minimum experience that people are expecting? Two years. How many years? Three to four years. But earlier this used to be minimum Earlier, this used to be three to four years minimum, but now it is one plus. If you have one year also on your resume, you are eligible in the current situation. Now the things have changed. Even if you project, even if you show one year of experience, you will still be able to get interview calls. But the only point is you have to show or you have to tell somebody that you have experience on SAP FICO. Never mention anywhere to anybody that you are a trained candidate on SAP FICO. Clear? If you tell somebody that you are a trained candidate on SAP FICO, with that statement itself, you are more than half rejected. Because I do not want to waste my time talking to you when I know that you are a trained candidate. Okay, when I know that you are a trained candidate, I do not want to waste my time. I'm talking from the interview point of view. Because your HR will not pick your resume if you do not show any experience. Your interviewer will not be under impression that you are well trained. So the only impression that you can create the other side is by showing some experience by talking about your experience. Your experience is a scene on your explanation, not on your resume. Clear? If I say my resume with four years experience and if I say my resume with zero years experience, if I say my resume with six years experience, if I say my resume with two years experience. Now, zero to four years in SAP zero to four years is same. Whether you are a zero year experienced candidate, one year, two year, three year, four year, you are going to get same questions in your interview. There is no difference. There is no change. Why? Those who attended interviews already will be able to understand what I mean here. Because in the market, 
zero to four years is entry level in SAP. You talk your experience anywhere from zero to four. You your first impression is your entry level in SAP. Okay, so either you are less experienced candidate or you are no experienced candidate. The moment I see your resume with zero to four years, this is what comes into majority of the interviewers. So the kind of a questions that you get for zero year for four years is the same. Now, if you are clear with this statement that zero to four years is the same in the market. Now you have to have the knowledge of zero year or four year experience in SAP. What kind of knowledge is needed? Do we need zero year experience fresher knowledge on SAP or four year experienced knowledge on SAP to get into the market? Four what years. is needed? Right? You definitely need four year experienced knowledge to get into the market. Now, can we learn four years experience knowledge in three months? Is this practically possible? Is this practically possible to gain four years of SAP FICO knowledge in three months? This is practically not possible. It's not possible when I train, not possible even SAP comes and trains you. This is not possible. Because this is possible only when you practice different different business requirements different different business processes when you practice from your side when you understand the business requirement from the financial point of view that is where you are going to make this possible otherwise gaining four years of experienced knowledge in three months is highly impossible not about any trainer even sap itself will come and give you training impossible am i clear Clear? Any doubt on this point? Agree with me? This is not possible to learn in three months. The expectation is four years experience knowledge in the market. The intention is to gain everything in three months from the training. Impossible. Which means we are trying to learn something which is not possible. So our first step itself is wrong. Because we are with the wrong intention, we are with the wrong direction. Now, let's talk about what is actually there in SAP FICO course. Now, when you talk about SAP FICO, how many modules are we representing here? Two modules. Two modules. One is your FI. Second is your CO. What is FI? Financial Accounting. What is CO? Is your controlling so this is all about your accounts this is all about your accounts this is all about your cost and management accounting now those who are from commerce background from your graduation level you would have heard something called Financial accounting, cost accounting, management accounting. 
right your cost and management accounting is basically included in your controlling module all your other accounts are part of your financial accounting or sap fi module now when you see this sap fi module there are different different things in this when we say different things there are different different sub components within fi different different sub components within co what do we have from sap fi first thing that you should do is before you get into co you must complete fi without fi you cannot do co so first thing before you start your sap fi practice before we start sap fi practice you need to have something called general topics there are some general topics what are this general topics any idea anyone first thing you have to know is organization structure second thing that you have to know is sap landscape third one baseline configuration what is organization structure any idea anyone company controlling area and when we talk about organization structure now certain things will strike our mind right like company what else you said controlling area what else will come company code operating operating concern chart of accounts anything this is basically your organization structure in sap now if you are not clear with this organization structure do not start your sap fi practice strictly not recommended when you practice your sap fi or sap fico in general terms what normally we will do when we practice fico what do we start from we will start from company company code chart of account fiscal year posting period agree is that correct yes sir so that is what you will begin with but are we aware of what is our company code let's say if i am practicing a company code a b c d okay a b c d is my company code if i am practicing a company code called a b c d what i will do i will create a company code called a b c d i will complete the remaining steps as part of your course content or your course material or as part of your config document but are we aware what is this a b c d company code are we aware of the at least basic business process of this abcd company code if we are aware it is fine if we are not aware of our company code which we are practicing whatever the practice we are doing is not going to help us if you are not aware of your company code your company code business process but you are still continuing your practice doing different settings testing posting entries checking the reports and all that is not going to help you anywhere for any reason that is not going to help you even to talk to the person who is getting trained like you because if you tell something no other person will tell okay am i correct everybody will put a cross question anything that you tell in terms of sap will you get a cross question or you will directly get an answer okay agreed okay agreed what will happen do we get cross question or not cross question 
you will get cross questions if you tell that i am creating my company code as abcd if i put you a question why did you choose abcd as your company code you should have an answer i am not going to ask you tell me what things you will input for creating a company code i don't want to know it i want to know why did you choose abcd as your company code is it that just like that you have taken abcd or is there any reason for it if you have taken just like that your practice is not going to help you you should have a reason if you are choosing abcd as the code there should be a valid reason for it and if you are creating one company code or two company codes three company codes why are you creating three company codes you are creating three different company codes of three different groups or three different company codes of one single group how did you practice this if you have an answer fine if you have no answer not fine that is not going to help you which means anything that you are doing on sap you should have a reason and you should have your own explanation you should have your own understanding do not blindly follow what i am telling or what you see on the course content what you see on the configuration materials or configuration documents if your document or any source that you are referring has abcd as the company code you do not know why abcd is created and you are also creating abcd then you are doing a big mistake which will take huge time to rectify to correct clear now first thing that you will have to understand is what organization structure if you are good at organization structure when i say if you are good at organization structure you should only know the points first because as we mentioned earlier first one month you are not going to understand anything everything will be big question marks everything that you know here will leave you a dot that's it another point tomorrow will leave you another dot another point you learn after a couple of days will leave you another dot after a month you will be able to connect every dot and to make a proper image but don't expect every dot that you have completed this you are only putting the dots for every topic and then once a month is completed you are going to connect all the dots this connecting dots if you are not clear any topic that you do on sap will never be clear because everything is dependent on your basic organization structure if this basic organization structure is not clear for you any topic that you practice will remain as a topic if i say will remain as a topic if you have practiced accounts payable you will be able to answer my question only when i use a term called accounts payable when i say accounts payable your mind starts telling vendor group number ranges assignment gl account vendor invoice vendor credit memo vendor payment but if i do not use a term called accounts payable you will never be able to talk to me about accounts payable because you have injected accounts payable in such a way that it is not going to help you in the actual scenario where you need accounts payable knowledge in short the way you know the accounts payable if you talk to anybody if you explain to anybody anybody can easily figure out that you are a trained candidate you will not reveal anybody that you are a trained candidate but the way you are explaining the way you are talking will reveal the other person that you are a trained candidate so certain mistakes you should not do when you are learning sap when you are talking to somebody on sap it is not your resume it is not you who is telling it is not your friend who is telling it is not me who is telling that you have no experience it is your explanation which is telling the other person the way you are talking the way you are explaining will reveal the other person that you have not worked on sap you have only the basic level training you have only the initial level understanding on sap that is very dangerous because everything you will misunderstand because according to you everything is configuration 
but according to reality everything is a requirement okay now if you are good at organization structure next thing that we have to know is landscape when we talk about sap landscape there are three common systems that we use within sap any idea what are those three common systems within sap as part of system landscape development quality production development quality production correct you will have development you will have quality and you will have production now whenever you are doing any practice strictly instruct your mind that you are configuring in development system clear whenever you are practicing strictly inject in your mind that you are configuring this or you are doing this setting in development system only second one whenever you are testing it test two times how many times you have to test anything you configure one time or two times two times two times what are these two time testing called first time testing is your testing as a consultant first time is a consulting testing second time is a user testing configure one time test two times which means the transaction you are going to record two times when you are going to record a transaction two times analyze the transaction see the business impact what entry you are posting so here your accounting knowledge will come into picture if you are posting a debit to expense account check what is happening with this expense whether this is increasing your profit or decreasing your profit If you are posting something to the balance sheet account check where this is going to reflect in your balance sheet is this going to reflect under liabilities or assets and how do you check how this has impacted your financials how do you check your pnl from sap how do you check your balance sheet from sap whether you are able to verify this or not or we are only posting the transaction and then leaving it if you are posting a transaction and then leaving it this practice is not going to help you anywhere if you are not aware of the financial impact we are unfit to become a sap fico consultant remember tomorrow if you become a sap fico consultant you will have to talk to the end users end users will do what day to day financial transactions am i correct what will end user stock day to day financial transactions at ground level post posting journal entries generating reports reviewing the reports performing reconciliations any doubt any issues any problem that they face during their day to day operations every end user if it is a finance related problem will approach a sap fico consultant which is you so for us to explain to the end user first of all are we supposed to be confident or not am i correct i have to explain something to my end user to my business user first of all should i know about it or not or after getting the requirement from my user i'll tell let me check and get back to you should we know or should we check and tell them for every query that we get from the business what yeah, is the ideal process you must know that and do you get any prior information any forecasted information that tomorrow i am going to ask you this please please be prepared for this do you get any such prior information from your project from your user or it will come no. at any point it might come at any point and something may be urgent something may be critical something may be normal if i i if i ask you a query if i am facing a problem which is normal i will tell okay i am trying to do this i am facing this problem please help me not urgent you can tell me tomorrow also fine 
if you know or you do not know doesn't matter because this is not urgent for me you have time to look into it what if i ask you something which is urgent i am trying to record a transaction i am trying to perform a reconciliation prepare a report but something is wrong i am seeking your support as a consultant now if you are aware of it you are able to clarify my doubt you are able to convince my confusion well and good if not it may have serious consequences depending on the situation depending on the scenario let's say i am preparing a report i am posting a transaction which is very urgent i am making a payment which is supposed to be given to the supplier immediately assuming my shipment is on hold i have placed further orders but i need that material immediately delivered but vendor is not giving the shipment or vendor is not delivering the product or service until i res- i make the payment i am ready to make the payment but there are some problems while making the payment now can you say that okay i will check and tell you tomorrow can i say in such scenarios can i take my own time yes no you cannot take right you have to sort out the problem to sort out the problem first we have to understand the problem right so to understand the problem you need not have sap configuration knowledge you should only have the business process knowledge if you have the business process knowledge your sap configuration knowledge is a shadow of your business process if you know the process configuration is attached to it by default reason why am i specifically telling that do not focus on configuration any guess why i am telling this why am i repeatedly telling do not focus on configuration focus on business process any guess any idea in real time they provide document to configuration one point correct another point your point is correct configuration is always standard and they never ask for standard if it is a standard then uh, we are not a consultant we are just a data entry operator then valid next important point that we are missing most of us will miss if we use our common sense we will get the reality that why we should not focus more on configuration in the real in the real time suppose uh, mm-hmm. tally is shifted to the sap what uh, data is required that scenario is required that client should be able to understand correct this is also point valid point but important point we are missing most of us will miss this important point configuration doesn't come first business process come first after that we have to configure this is also valid but not the important one reliance group is there a number of branches are there so reliance data reliance smart how to configure that scenario is understanding is correct all your points that you have mentioned are correct but the most important point is now today we are learning sap fico agree tomorrow you will become a sap fico consultant is this correct yes no today we are learning sap fico tomorrow you will become a consultant but when you become a consultant you will be working for a client is this correct yes sir definitely now your client 
falls under two categories okay so category 1 client is already using sap category number 2 client is not using sap which category is most common which category percentage is higher in the market one, one or two is this category is more in the market if you get a fico one, job one. or is this category more one now see it from your point of view don't see it from the market point of view don't see it in general make this specifically applicable to you tomorrow if you want to get into the job are you or will anybody ask you to do the configuration or implementation directly no that will never happen so you will be working for a client who is already <laughs> who is already using sap agree Seventy-five percent. This is the scenario that you are going to face. This is only twenty-five percent. Seventy-five percent. You are going to work for a client who is already in SAP. So, in terms of a rollout, in terms of a support, in in terms of a development, anything, you may be working for a client who is already using SAP. Which means there is nothing that you have to do configuration for them. You are not going to join a company. You are not going to. get assigned for a client for a project nobody will ask you to create a company to create a company code chart of account fiscal year nobody is asking you to do it in fact very rarely you will do it unless you are in this this is 25 percentage almost this is not possible not applicable for us majorityly you will fall under this category which means you are going to work for a client who is already using sap so when you are in a company when you get into a project do not assume do not be in a mindset that somebody will ask you to create company code chart of account this that config and all that is not the case they will already have all the configuration existing in the system they might seek your experience to understand their system at a faster pace let's say you joined a project today as a fico consultant showing that you are a 3 year experienced candidate or 2 year experienced candidate when i know that you have told me that you are an experienced candidate will i make you sit and tell you this is company this is company code this is chart of account or no i will never tell you right agree i'll never tell you because you told me you are an experienced candidate what i am going to do i am talking about this scenario because this is what you are going to face when you are a consultant tomorrow so you will be given access to system you will be given what access to system you will get one user id in the client system they will tell log into the system check what is there from fico side now you already know the configuration agree yes no we would have already practiced company company code all the other settings now if i give you a company code or if i give you a client for which you will have to work i'll give you id password to log into the system i'll tell you you can explore log into the system check what is implemented or i may give you some documentation your documentation may be business blueprint config docs user manual or recent issues log or recent issues list and you have to start working immediately maybe within a week within a month maximum within a month from your joining 
make sure you are able to work on real time issues you will be able to connect with the users you will be able to connect with the business responsible persons and communicate do we have that confidence are we comfortable to talk to take up all this is what we have to learn in your course wherever you learn this is what you have to learn and these points will have to be in your mind from the beginning even before you join any sap course these points must be there in your mind only then you will be able to learn sap properly otherwise you will end up learning sap which will not help you to get a job in sap okay now so far did we talk anywhere about fico course content what is to be covered what is to be not covered because that is the last point to be discussed that you have to know these points before you decide whether to get trained on sap or not if you are aware of these points at the beginning itself it is easy for you to ask me that you have not told this or you have not you are not teaching me this agree yes no am i correct yes sir otherwise whatever i teach you will blindly follow me at the end of the course after completion of your course you will realize i did not know this nobody told me this i am not aware of this so i am telling you everything at the beginning and so that it is your responsibility to ask me that you are not telling this your responsibility to ask me you did not show me this for this output is not coming i am not able to understand the requirement if i am showing you only the configuration i am cheating you i am not training you sap in fact i am cheating you because if you take any topic let's say i will take simple leading ledger non leading ledger assuming that i am a trainer you are the candidate who is planning to learn now as a trainer i would have configured leading ledger non leading ledger multiple times yes no correct i would have configured created this so many times agree with me correct or not yes sir right but when i am telling you the same thing it is easy for me to create it in 5 minutes create it in 10 minutes create it in half an hour one hour i will show you a document i will show you the configuration screenshot i will give you the t code screenshot everything i will do exactly as per the screenshot that i am giving to you and everything will get created everything will get posted we will be able to see the report but is it the same thing from your side on one go you will be able to understand the concept of leading non leading ledger different scenarios purposes that this is used for in a project in one session possible or not you will be able to understand only the config part but not the business requirement part business scenario part so your focus is not going to be on the config your focus is going to be on the requirement if you get the business requirement i don't have to teach you i don't have to show you the config that requirement will take you to the configuration automatically you know i cannot cheat you right if i explain you the business process now your business process will take you through i don't you don't need me also but if i take you through only the configuration you will need me whenever you get an error for every error you will ask me i tried the same thing that you did but you did not get error i got the error i know what was my requirement for what purpose i am creating 
but you do not know why you are creating it what is there in your mind what is the requirement that you are going to see from the system you are blindly copying what i am telling how will you understand from where you will understand the requirement that is a never ending story you will never get to know the requirement because you are blindly following what i did which is not supposed to happen when you are learning take your own requirement whatever the business process business scenario i will take you take the similar one or take the same, same one change the names change the codes change the numbers and see if you are able to explain it back to the other person the same thing and you are able to convince it or not if you are able to explain it back to the other person you are able to convince the other person you are good whether your config is right wrong whether you do it on system output is coming or not coming nobody cares everybody is focused on what you are talking whether whatever you are talking is practical is realistic that happens in a real environment or not because the way we practice the way we configure while learning is different the same thing the way you do it in a project is different there is a huge difference so you should not find that difference when you are learning when you are practicing from the day one do it the way you do it in a project okay do it the way you do it in a project tomorrow if you get into a job you should not find any difference that okay while training i did the same thing in my project also i am doing the same thing there is no change you will feel confident you will feel comfortable tomorrow if i show you something but in a project you are doing it in a different way no connection with what i have taught you here you will definitely blame me right you will definitely feel bad that no my trainer did not tell me this way so that should never be the case whatever you are learning today will have to help you tomorrow if it is not there is no point of learning right so for everything we will have to focus on business process business requirement now so out of the two things we talked about org structure landscape and then the next one is baseline configuration who will do the baseline configuration in any project who will initiate who will start this which consultant will do baseline configuration first if it is an implementation project if a new company code is being created who will have to do first baseline config which functional consultant will have to create the settings first in the system if there is a new company code creation yeah fine FI consultant will have to do the first configuration. What configuration you will do as a FICO consultant in a new company code setup? You are not supposed to tell company company code the whole list of chart of account, all this config. You are supposed to talk only few points where your baseline configuration is connected or integrated with other modules. if any other module consultant let's say mm st pp ps any module every configuration on sap is based on company code am i correct right any module configuration any module business process is based on company code this company code creation is the responsibility of sap fi consultant as a sap fi consultant first you have to do some baseline configuration this baseline configuration is not related to your fico business process this baseline configuration is related to your organization structure clear this baseline config relates to your org structure not related to your business process when we talk about business process in sap fi 
what will you have in fi in fi you will have baseline configuration after this what other points you will get you will get general ledger accounts payable accounts receivable what else taxation cash bank asset accounting any other business processes from fi point of view ebrs integration with emm sd pp ps pm inventory inventory is part of your mm okay these are your broad categories when we say these are your broad categories these are only baseline or overviews baseline or overviews which means when you talk about gl what do we normally talk about gl if somebody is asking you to what is gl accounting or what is general ledger module in sap what happens in it do we have an answer if somebody is asking you what is included in gl in sap fico or if somebody is asking what is included in accounts payable accounts receivable taxation cash bank do we have an answer apart from config because the big mistake that we do is anything somebody is asking the first thing that comes in our mind is configuration steps am i correct if somebody is asking you something somebody is asking you something first thing that we speak out is config agree with me most of us will do the same sir. aspect yes sir. but the other person intention is not to know the configuration from you so the first level of answer that we are giving is configuration that is where you get a negative projection you are projecting yourself negatively by talking a config unnecessarily everybody knows that you are aware of configuration because without configuration it is not possible to practice it is not possible to execute any scenario in sap agree with me that right. without config you can do nothing in sap so if you have learned sap i know you have done configuration in sap but with configuration what you have done why you have done this configuration for what purpose before doing configuration what was your requirement after doing configuration what is your testing what is your analysis you faced any challenges is everything working as per your requirement is what you have to talk so that requires your business process understanding if that is there you can talk to anybody confidently and now the important point that you have to know here is these areas are only the basics from everything you will get different different scenarios you have to execute scenarios you have to practice scenario based when you config baseline when you config all these modules take different different scenarios if you talk about gl your entire accounting is based on gl agree with me your entire accounting is based on gl am i correct gl gives you 
financial statements okay when we talk about financial statements we are talking about trial balance pnl balance sheet if i say that i am using sap but my sap is not giving me trial balance my sap is not giving me pnl balance sheet is there any use of sap to me if i don't get tb pnl balance sheet is there any use with sap yes no there is no use right if i don't get tb if i don't get pnl if i don't get balance sheet there is no point of accounting first of all correct huh? now this tb pnl balance sheet is generated from gl module am i correct is my statement correct yes sir now when you talk about a gl you should also talk about sub ledger your accounts payable accounts receivable your asset accounting is part of sub ledger which are included in your gl gl includes everything in accounting that is why everybody will tell gl is a big module but when we practically see while learning you see gl as creating a general ledger account gl master record posting a transaction that's it seeing gl report as fbl 3n or fagl 03 but that is wrong now how many of you have completed at least one company code full configuration in sap anybody completed yes sir i tried now anybody who completes one full company code configuration in sap did we see trial balance did we see pnl did we see balance sheet for your company code if you have seen can you explain your tb can you explain your pnl can you explain your balance sheet of your company code that you have configured of your company code that you have created transactions from your practice if you have created a company code let's say a b c d company code you have created if you have generated a trial balance can you explain that a trial balance if you have generated a pnl can you explain that pnl if you generated a balance sheet can you explain that balance sheet if you are not something is very wrong with your training tomorrow this is a common activity for every month in any organization irrespective of the size small or big agree is this correct yes sir now every month your client will look for trial balance pnl balance sheet if you are not aware how these are extracted from system how to understand this it is nobody can help us we will be helpless and you cannot even tell that i am a fico consultant but i do not know trial balance pnl balance sheet and as a fico consultant you have to develop trial balance report pnl report balance sheet report you have to give training on these things to your client we ourselves are not clear how we will give training on this to the business so all this there are lot lot points like this which we have to understand at the beginning itself only then you will have a planning of yours in order to learn the sap accordingly you will make your plan whether it will take 3 months for me 4 months for me or 5 months for me what level i am currently at what points i have to learn do not go by course content for sap fico that is the big mistake that we all will do you will look at the course content you will start putting a tick mark like this is completed 
okay this is completed this is completed this is completed this is completed one find a course completed correct huh? this is what normally happens i'll show you a course content that this is crease company company code chart of account fiscal year accounts payable vendor account group purchase invoice this that and all i will tell this is completed this is completed this is completed after two months or after three months your course is completed goodbye but in fact if you go at that pace you will understand nothing you will be left with full of question marks you'll be with full of question marks after your training you will be behind something called real time training you will be behind project training you will be behind interview preparations you have already completed your training but after completion of your training if these points are coming is your training valid or invalid if these points are coming up after completion of your training which means you understood after completion of your training that whatever you have learnt is not real time if you are talking about project training after completion of your training which means whatever you have learnt is not the same thing that is done in a project so you want to go for separate project training interview preparation whatever you have learnt whatever you have practiced is not sufficient for interview so we need separate interview preparation training now this trap is very dangerous okay if you are under this situation it is very very risky that you are putting your career in risk it's not about the money that you are spending it's not about the time that you are spending it's about the career that you are investing the whole intention of anybody to learn sap is to make a career in sap correct huh? nobody wants to give a try right just i am free let me try if i get sap this is not lottery you not scratching any scratch card try it with full confidence if you are getting into it make sure you get into sap job also only with that intention you have to get into sap only with that mindset you have to practice sap because this is not so easy as we all think as the you know in the outside people will tell if that is so easy everybody you see from the finance background commerce background accounting background is a sap fico consultant but is that the case Eighty to ninety percent are dropouts in SAP, especially FICO. If you see hundred people learning SAP at the end of the course, at the end of some time wherein they'll get into a job, you will find only ten to twenty percent. Remaining eighty to ninety people are left in the middle or dropouts for various reasons. why 80 to 90% people are finding it difficult to get into sap which means there is something which everybody is hiding correct huh? and this is the case whoever you see from the finance background will tell i am a fico consultant i am a fico consultant my salary is this much my salary is this much why it is not the case means there is something am i correct there is something that we are not able to catch or there is something which is hidden you will find some small star terms and conditions apply we will not read the terms and conditions any doubt so far any questions anyone no sir sir no but if someone is but if someone is there sir what is the option left to him 
should he drop out uh, in the company itself to prepare again or should he continue uh, and prepare with simultaneously see if you are already trained okay mm. can you pull out this from your company code or any company code no sir yes. i know the tick code yes. sir no sir configuration wise i know only tick code i will get a report but the reality is i don't know anything if anyone wants me to explain i will be yes. just keep quiet that is the reality sir but somehow so that is i go hmm. yes sir continue but somehow i got a job sir and that too in big four but now uh, it is like i am i am even i am not getting a project in my uh, company and i am uh, getting killed every day by myself only because of guilt that i really don't know anything how will i survive and the questions you ask uh, in the whole time and the scenario explain it is real sir i am currently i am example that i am facing this kind of things somehow i managed to get an interview because of my communication skill but other than that it is very difficult if you don't know the real time scenarios right even so because that is everyone, what... hmm. go ahead everybody in even everybody do sir configuration but if we ask what is the capital entry what is the first uh, when you bring cap cash to business i think most of people don't know i am i am also one of them so it is of no use to know only configuration right because then after user will uh, user will kill you <laughs> if you don't know this correct they will upfront tell that you are not even able to understand what i am talking about how will you give me a solution for it first of all you have to understand what i am talking no to give a solution exactly sir yes sir yeah See, this is possible only when you have a predefined scenario before you get into SAP. Anything that you practiced at the beginning is fine. You are trying to get comfortable with the system. So, in the beginning, I told one month you will not understand anything. You have to start your course or you have to start your training from second month onwards. So, when you are training, starting your training from second month, let's say you are configuring a new company code take what is your company name for which company you are going to do the setup if you are creating a setup for let's say if you take any company that you are aware of assuming you are taking honda okay now if you if i want to configure honda first of all i should know what is this honda what is honda honda is a sweet shop Automobiles. what do we get from honda it's a automobile what is manufactured what is the product of honda vehicles vehicles what do you mean by vehicle bike or car you have bikes and cars let's say you want to configure honda and honda is dealing with automotives automobiles bikes are there cars are there now you are going to configure honda is honda an indian company or it's a 
foreign company so foreign company sir honda is a foreign company right now you are going to set up honda for india or any other country for both sir report like for there also and he for here also so these points are very important before you set up a company code it's not like just like that we enter company code screen company screen chart up account screen we are creating standard way and then saving posting the entries even if we create 1000 company codes like that it is not going to help us we will still be ending up keeping quiet when you get practical questions because we did not have any intention we did not have any idea any draft of what we want to do in sap if you are thinking like okay i want to create honda as my company okay if i am setting up for india if this is an indian based company fine is this an indian based company no this is a foreign based company so it must be operating in various other countries also keeping this in your mind keeping a global company in your mind you have to practice every time which means you should have a company which is present in more than one country and then which will be using different accounting principles different ledgers if your company code is having only one currency only one ledger only one accounting principle that is only a training company that is possible only in your sap training institute if you check with any of your friends or circle who is there in your sap fico job if you know somebody who is working as a sap fico consultant test your knowledge with them okay whatever you are learning from me or from anybody check with the people who are already working on sap this is what i am learning is this correct are you doing in the same way if they say yes we are doing in the same way what you are learning is correct go ahead if they say no this we will not do like this then something is wrong you have to make yourself alert you have to change your strategy otherwise you are not going to get a job in sap at the end the only result is you will be part of this 80 to 90% category you will have to be a drop out talk to different people who are working on sap talk to different people who are already trained on sap get to know the market reality what is happening in the market currently if you get into a job what is expected from you what are the things that you are supposed to know and the ground reality the market reality is not the same as your sap fico course content it will match only 20 to 30% 70% of your sap fico course content is against your sap reality if you get into a job if you face an interview your course content is going to help only 20 to 30% remaining 70% is something which is practical knowledge business knowledge if it is only config if it is only this one anybody can by heart this right but you are going to be asked different different scenarios you will be given different situations assuming if this is the situation if this is the case how you will handle this what kind of solutions you will propose to your client if he is not accepting what you are telling how you will convince him so at that level you have to start thinking at base level company code all this configs by looking at the documentation anybody will do it tomorrow in your project you will be doing the same thing look at the document to the config but that is not the consulting consulting is a different skill that you have to adopt any other questions anyone
सर इट इट पॉसिबल टू लर्न एस एपी सीनारियो बेस्ट थिंग्स इन टू टू थ्री मंथ्स आई एम आस्किंग एज इन कॉन्टेक्स दैट लाइक वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न बट द काइंड ऑफ सीनारियो दे फेस द रियल टाइम फेस how will we uh, get to at that kind of level of thinking because uh, every time in interview nowadays they are asking scenario they are not interested in configuration correct so for this what you have to do scenario all right for which what you have to do is when you set up any company code in your practice you should not configure everything config only the base only the baseline you configure so that this scenario will work the functionality will work then you take different different scenarios let's say if you take simple example of accounts payable okay if you take accounts payable config only the basic accounts payable module so that you will be able to create a one vendor invoice you will be able to create a vendor now when you are creating a vendor if you are practicing vendor creation for one time or 10 times it is the same process same screen everything remains as it is now oh, while creating a vendor vendor is a sensitive master because vendor is a person to whom you are going to pay the amount yes sir now you have to understand while creating a vendor master what are the sensitive fields what is the sensitive information of a vendor you should have correct vendor name you should have correct tax registration numbers of the vendor correct bank information of the vendor correct huh? right. yes sir it has to be properly aligned to the right reconciliation account so that your vendor will reflect properly on your liabilities and system should not allow me to create a duplicate vendor Yes, sir. And for the same vendor, I should not create multiple invoices. Yes, sir. Then it is a duplication. Is, correct. If somebody is creating a vendor, but they are not giving the bank information, so system should not allow them to save the vendor. So this is how you will have to bring different different scenarios. When you are creating a vendor, you will only put some three four mandatory fields. You will save it during the practice. Sir. Right, but in a real environment, if you are in an organization, just like that, do we create a vendor? If that is the case, I can ask my friend, you please create my name as vendor. This is my bank account number. Please add this. Post one invoice for some two lakh rupees. Please make the payment. Can we do that? No, sir. No, right? It is not as simple as we create a vendor when we practice. it has got a different process when you are in a project when you are in any organization so there will be something called a new vendor request form a form will have to be filled up it has to be approved you have to attach the first order of the vendor why do we need this vendor what are we purchasing from this vendor did we place an order did we verify the quotation is he really giving us with the best deals only then new vendor request is approved so this kind of things is what you have to know tomorrow if you get a question how vendor master is created in your current project current client what is their business process for vendor master creation if you tell we will go to fk01 or we will go to bp we will put this fields gone trained candidate So what kind of control points you have for your vendor master creation you may have to bring in all this valid bank information has to be given duplicate check will have to be given right reconciliation account has to be given if i select local vendor if i assign foreign vendor reconciliation account it is correct or wrong right sir it is incorrect right if i am telling yes. that this is a local vendor i have to select local vendor related gl account if i pick foreign vendor related gl account my reporting is wrong system will not yes, stop sir. you anywhere so you have to think from the business point of view transaction point of view reporting point of view 
because once masters are created once entries are created it is very difficult to reclass it to rectify this yes sir and everybody at that moment will put a cross question to you what was the requirement why did you do this show me what what requirement you had from the client who approved this requirement so everything will go back trace if you say no nobody told me i in my training we did like this i created like this you will be out of the company no oh, sir if you are not aware there is no harm in asking the other person ask your senior consultant or your colleague fico consultant they will tell you nobody will tell no you do it on your own nobody will tell it everybody will help you when you are in a project so sir as per current my personal situation i should survive in this for at least 3 4 month and practice my day and day out right is this okay sir i was getting sorry sir to discuss uh, in class sir but i was getting uh, really depressing thoughts like what will i do there and how will i perform how they will ask me to leave what will i tell to my mom and dad that they are already invested me on me it no, keeps no no that that nothing will happen as long as you are showing in that you are learning you are willing to learn new things you are trying to do things in an innovative way nobody will stop you at least you have to understand what they are telling put in your effort let the other person realize that you are putting in your effort everybody will help you okay sir but let's say in project i asked you to create one you know vendor invoice i have to test something blindly don't create vendor invoice you have to ask me you have any specific requirement to create in vendor invoice otherwise i can select any vendor i can select any account no i can post for any amount yes sir but i may be testing a scenario for a specific vendor for a specific category of vendor for a specific let's say tax related scenario your vendor invoice must contain tax what kind of a tax should your vendor invoice have is it withholding tax or sales and purchase tax you have to ask me i may not be telling you everything in detail like spoon feeding i am under impression Correct. that you will understand if you are not clear it is your responsibility to ask me if you are not asking where you are not clear where you are confused that is not my problem that is your problem you are not trying to make an effort to improve yourself correct sir if you are putting in your efforts to improve yourself everybody will protect you nobody will it's not so easy to remove one person from a job once you are in job it's very difficult not so easy that we think because it will go back trace if somebody is has to be fired because of non performance because of any reason they will not just like that remove him from the job they will see who interviewed him from where his resume came it will be back traced to an extent the person who took your interview will be questioned did you not realize did you not notice that this candidate is not capable what made you select this candidate it will go to that extent now you know exactly. that market is full of backdoor jobs proxy interviews and all so it's not so easy as we think that if i am not performing just like that they will tell me tata bye bye no not so easy and everybody will start their career in sap with this kind of struggling only if our learning if our training is proper you will not face these kind of problems when you get into a job true sir exactly true right this kind of things will happen only when what we got trained what we are seeing in the reality is different but unfortunately majority of the cases are like that yes sir 99 percent is only like that only like it is it is really sir you know finding a it is really hard sir to find anything like that will guide you the way you are guiding sir 
because no one is here to tell the reality it is just yes. for three or four months and then <laughs> you do your work and i'll do my work it is the reality sir and i think most of the people today also we have faced like that that's why we are here correct because it is it is it is very wrong sir like it is very difficult to get into a job also sir nowadays because what i am facing in interviews they are directly starting from scenarios they are not interested in to listen anything because now lot of uh, people like uh, trained people are a lot like dozens and dozens you can get it from so they don't want to even ask you the configuration p2p cycle like the scenario i know sir one thing that when i get trained in my uh, when i join institute they train me questions like p2p cycle o2c cycle <laughs> i mm-hmm. personally given 15 to 20 interviews they even don't bother to ask me anything like that they directly come to scenario they don't want to ask you p2p and o2c those days are gone yes sir exactly now you have to be updated with the current market trend what is expected from you in the market you have to equip only that content in your mind they want only the refined final output they don't want the background of everything tell me in short in a crisp manner what exactly the key points that you have to consider to do this for that you should have experienced practicing this in a practical way all right any other questions yes. sir when we do a support job like support thing we do like you told 75% of the job are support is true so how do we survive in that sir like because every scenario will be new scenario so how will you get to know or how will you get your train to yourself that you will like at least some there that you won't get catch or like you little bit get time or like i'm i mean what is the real scenario over there sir when we go for a support job if you see i put four year 1 2 3 4 okay and you get any problem you get any problem like you get any issue there are only four ways of doing it it's not that you see every problem from the scratch okay the possible errors mm-hmm. for any problem could be your config related problem your master related problem transaction related problem if not there is a training or understanding gap otherwise if not this then there is something called process change if somebody is telling that i am getting a problem i am facing some issue here don't look at what solution you will give to it first see what they are trying to do where they are getting the problem and what they are doing see it what they are doing okay they are creating a vendor they are creating an invoice they are creating a gl let it be anything see what they are doing first and check is now it's not something that they are doing it for the first time in the system correct huh? they would have done this yes, already sir. now now they are yes, getting sir, a problem sir. which means something changed if it is config any recent configuration related to that process is done and moved to sys production which is creating this issue or configuration there is no problem check the master data is is the master data created properly if master also created properly no problem check the transaction that they are posting because when you see any transaction screen you will find lot of icons to be clicked 
Yes, sir. Now, are they selecting any icon? Are they feeding any information which is not relevant to their transaction? That is also not there. Everything is correct. Then there may be training or understanding gap. The user, is he a new user? Or is he using for the first time this process? That also can happen. Some users will try to experiment on the system. Think innovatively, likewise. Mm -hmm. This is also not problem. Everything is correct. Then there is a process change. This may be a new business process, new business scenario, which is not configured, which is not mapped in the system. Oh, sir. But for understanding all this, you have to know the business scenario, which means what they are doing. If you are not clear with what they are doing, you will never be able to solve the problem because you have not understood what the issue is. Most of us will fail at this level. They'll not focus on this. They'll skip this. But you have to stick to this. If you are sticking to this, everything will fall in line automatically. You will also be in line automatically. You don't need anybody to guide you. If you are clear with scenario, even if you are searching on Google, if you are searching on YouTube, if you are searching with SAP blogs, SAP portals, checking with somebody, everybody will ask you the same question. What is the requirement? Today, if you want tomorrow, if you want to ask me, sir, I'm getting a problem. I'm getting a doubt in this. I'm trying this. I'll ask you the same question. What you are trying to do in the system? Because you are trying something to do it and you are getting a problem, right? Yes, sir. You have to tell me what you are trying to do. What are you trying to achieve? What is your requirement? Unless I know your requirement, I cannot give any feedback. I cannot give any suggestion, right? Obviously, sir. So this, this is purely dependent on business scenario. If you are this is a little tricky part to understand but slowly you will understand it this comes through experience mm -hmm. this comes the way you're practicing from the beginning because so this is a big change for you to practice like this from the beginning at least now because you would have already practiced in a different way according to you yes, SAP sir. configuration is different but when you are seeing it in a real real environment now you are unable to match it what you have done yes sir because it is all uh, required configuration only it won't be like a standard configuration it okay. will be just a mapped configuration even yesterday i was uh, trying to do uh, like created all the things and controlling area i kept aside i post a vendor general entry only and then a vendor invoice entry only like expenses and all and after that i try to create a controlling area and cost center it was giving problem so then i and i was on a testing server so i was able to cancel out the entries but in real time you don't get a chance to do that so that do. time i realized that time i realized how proper configuration first should be needed why blueprint is the like on the top of it why they create all the things first only why they map all the things on a paper first and then try to create before you start we have listed here right you must know the general topic your org structure system landscape yes, baseline config only then you have to step into your your fi course or your co course without this if you are doing directly then it's not going to help you the day when we realize it would have costed you a lot. Now you are realizing it practically, right? Yes, sir. Exactly. I am facing it. And that's why I am there to saying it because we are now 14 or 15 people. But maybe everyone don't have chance to do, do like me. So that's why I am there to say like it is really it is really tough to survive here, sir. A lot of people even don't try, like clear the interviews. Like there are th dozens, thousands of them who don't even clear the interview but even after clearing the interview it is a process it is interview is a just half an hour one hour process but after that you have to kill if you don't know you will get killed every day it is very hard it's to survive a, it's a 
it's a never ending learning if you are in a cp you have to be a student every day yes sir true but it is also true sir that basic should be basic should be clear it should not be a motive that only people like high salary and configuration thing it is not reality it is Correct. a really different part i am really motivated to learn sir it's not a thing that i came here for uh, or in a sap for monitor and all that purpose and that's why i found your videos sir even that's why i joined you because you are the only one on youtube history because i search it all day and not night i know my situation you are the only one who was uh, starting from accounting basics <laughs> no one start from accounting basics like they don't even think about accounting rule golden rules will come into play right everybody is like only depending on configuration they start from organization structure company code starting from there no one is looking back why we are configuring this and because sir in support or in any kind of thing in job role they are the user will get like things only in posting majorly in posting that is posting happen and how to do correctly now because re reporting we are main focus all everything crux is report we are doing everything for the report only so re report will get damaged by only journal entries so that is the basic thing true right any other questions anyone any other confusions anybody has you can ask yes sir uh, hello sir hello yes yeah yeah yes we get this side actually sir my office timings uh, sorry uh, but it's uh, uh, 9 to 6 is it possible for you to conduct this daily in the evening time yeah evening it will be around 8 or 8:30 i am even planning to shift from 8 pm to around 9 pm will be starting around 9 pm yeah i want uh, to join in the batch in the evening time not in the morning time sir yeah night it will be there in the night pm 8 sorry 9 pm daily 9 pm yes 9 to 10 from tomorrow sir, from tomorrow sir from monday onwards it is 9 pm not from monday from sunday it is 9 pm okay it is from 9 pm daily yeah like sir sir i have one question talk, if we miss out about sir. in the morning time earlier we were talking about morning time no sir 8:30 yeah, to 9:30 yeah there will be two batches one will be in the morning one will be in the evening night both are fresh Bo both are fresh both will be fresh okay i will join in the evening sir yeah and sir in case if we are not able to attend a class on a, any particular day uh do we recover it by recording sir you will get recording of every session on the same day okay so much sir okay every session will get recorded and you will be given that recording after the session maybe after a couple of hours all right if no questions so let's wind up today tomorrow morning we'll be connecting around 9 am and we'll talk about different points different topics that we have that we have to learn from sap fi and from sap co point of view in order to prepare for your interview in order to manage your project on a day to day basis so today we talked only about the generic overview tomorrow let's get into sap fi areas and sap co areas and what other areas we have to be aware of as a fico consultant as per current market trend okay so morning it will be the same link 9 am okay okay sir uh, and there is no class in the evening tomorrow tomorrow evening it will be there but tomorrow evening time i'll confirm tomorrow morning okay yeah ajit 
you so morning morning class time will be at 7:30 or 9 tomorrow no every day morning if uh, suppose the night time it's you said at that 9 to 10 right so next uh, 20 days 9 to 10 will be uh, difficult so it, it is possible that i can join on mo- uh, morning classes for the next uh, till 22nd yes you can attend there will be two sessions one will happen in the morning the other one will happen in the evening both will be the similar classes M- morning morning time morning time it will be around 8 o'clock 8 am in the morning 8 to 9 am okay evening it will be 9 to 10 pm okay okay because evening actually plan actual my plan was my office time was 9 to 6 but i plan for uh, uh, joining in the next 20 days the evening exact 9 to 10 it's due uh, to ramzan uh, that night prayer will be there that's why i am asking okay no worries even if you miss out any sessions on weekends mm-hmm. there will be dedicated sessions exclusively to clarify the doubts that you get the topics that you have not understood okay so sure. so so if i uh, i can see the recording of the Uh, evening session. So, if any doubt comes, I can directly on the weekends or directly I can. You can message me directly on WhatsApp. Either I'll clarify or I'll I'll tell you what you need to do to fix it. Sure. Yeah. Uh, sure, John. So, like this twenty days only like that. Then I will be available for nine to ten. Okay. No problem. sir for my perspective uh, i will have a 9 to 6 office majorly i don't know exact time they will tell me but it will extend at a client side i don't know what project i'll get maybe a support project but i'll manage to survive there somehow somehow i'll manage and also i'll learn there night some whatever it is possible at one yeah. place fine no issues Yes. Am I audible? Yes, you are. Yeah, yeah. Good evening, sir. <coughs> yeah, good evening. Sir, what, what, whatever Ankit said that every in in each each interview they are asking for the real time scenarios. Since we are only trained candidates, we we have no idea on the real time scenario. Then how we are going to handle those questions? In, in most of the interviews, they are asking for uh, what uh, what are the G reports you have, you have worked on, and what was the logic you you have given to solve that scenario. Correct. So all these points I am going to explain in the tomorrow morning session because today we talked at the generic point. In the tomorrow morning session, I list out all these points. What areas will be there in FI? What areas will be there in CO? And what areas are standard? what areas are customized if customized what you have to know about it about requirement your logic functional spec all these things we will cover in the tomorrow morning session in the evening we are having one class right tomorrow evening there will be a class okay. but tomorrow evening session time i'll confirm in the morning Okay, weekdays we, class timings will be fixed, but on weekends we may have some flexible timings. What if we want to attend both of the classes? Is there is there any restriction for that? No, 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 no restriction. You are free to attend any session that I take. Okay, okay, thank you. Yeah. Any other questions? all right so tomorrow morning let's connect at 9 o'clock to talk about the content of sap fi and sap co okay yes sir yeah okay then Bye. thank you so much sir yes